Work it, make it, do it, make sense. Harder, better, faster, stronger. So a few weeks ago, I was trapped in the suburbs of Moscow. Didn't know where I was, didn't know how to get downtown to find my car. But since I had my cell phone with me, I was able to pull up a map of Moscow, Idaho, using the internet access available on my phone, find out where I was, find a street map, find my way downtown. Lanham talks about text that thinks, describing how uh, ebooks need to move in the direction of incorporating different uh, multimedia forms and different applications of the traditional book. And just in the same way, the cell phone has gone from just a big, bulky mobile phone to a phone that thinks, a phone that has multimedia applications. Using my camera phone, I was able to take photos of my friend Sadie putting up flyers for our friend Andrea's birthday party. Then I went and rearranged the flyers so it looked like she was so drunk she didn't know how to spell her own friend's name. Then I posted it on a MySpace blog. Birdsell and Gork would call this a visual argument. That's the trick, isn't it? I said it was indispensable. It's not. I mean, we could live without them, sure. We could all tomorrow stop using them. We wouldn't die. Like, the, the, the world would keep turning. Our agriculture would still keep working. Um, you know, things would happen. But uh, at the same time, yeah, it does feel indispensable. 